everybody welcome to the beast of petite's channel i'm javi here i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a charm bracelet and filling in these little charm hearts with uv resin and perfect pearls so come on over and i'll show you how to get that done before we get started i have a couple examples here of um little charms i filled in with uv resin and perfect pearls so we have a blue one and a purple one And of course, I did this in a short, on a YouTube short. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link below for you guys so you can check that out. So I'm going to show you guys how to fill in these little charms with the resin, with UV resin and Perfect Pearls. Let me just show you the bracelet I got started here. So of course, this is all in UV resin. All these little charms I filled in and how I did this and everything. So I'm going to show you guys how to fill that in really quickly, and I'll give you the links of this too. So we need a little baggie, I'm going to push, push these up here. We need the UV resin, of course, make sure you open the bottom, <laughs> I had that trouble today. And I'm just going to pour a good amount here, let's see, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to try to make it match my other charms here. Hopefully I can do that. And then I got the Perfect perfect Pearls Forever Red. Got to be careful with this stuff. And I used a toothpick. And depending how you want the color to be, like, like light red to d deep red, like how I have it here, you have to put a lot. <laughs> I put two scoopies of a lot of red. So hopefully this is not too dark, but, and you just mix it in with the UV resin. You gotta mix it really good. You could always do this in a cup, a little plastic cup, but I just found it just easier on a little baggie. Now, if you think it's not the same red, as the previous charms, I'm going to put more UV resin here. It just seems a little bit more lighter to me. Just a little bit more. Just depends on what you like. I'm going to keep mixing it a little bit more here. Just make sure all this stuff is completely gone. Just keep mixing, just keep mixing, 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 mixing. Oh, this is a nice red too. I like the red. <laughs> Perfect for fall time. Okay, I think that's pretty mixed enough. Sometimes those little specks of perfect pearls come back up. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this one right here. This is a little toughy for me. I'm just going to fill in the heart right here. And I'm not going to use a toothpick. I just mix this because, well, you can. It's just, it's a little harder for fine detail. So I'm just going to put a little bit there. I'm going to just put a little more here. It's a little hard to see. Okay, so I'm not going to use the rest of that toothpick. I'm just going to use a new toothpick and get the corners here. If you need a little bit more UV resin, go ahead. I'm just going to fill it in the best I can. Of course, I want a nice little design with it too, so I'm going to just do a little bit of swirls here and there. If you go over the edge, there is... That is not to worry. Or if you want to fill in the whole thing, that's fine. But that came out perfect right there. Okay. So I'm going to set it aside on this little Teflon mat here. I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to just make sure that's the same kind of red. Looks pretty similar. Okay. And this one's going to be a little bit tougher to do. I'm just going to... I'm just going to fill it in in here. 
where I think to me, ooh, I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to grab some more. I'm just going to push it aside until I think it's pretty good. Okay. I'm going to come in a little closer. This is a little harder to do because you have to... Um, I try not to touch all the corners, but you know, just to fill it in. Sometimes I'll just put a little drop more. I think that would be good enough. I don't want it to overflow. So I just wanted to just fill in the area. So I'm just gonna try to do my best here. Uh, nothing comes out perfect, and if, unless it does, it, that's amazing. Usually my first attempts usually come out horrible. <laughs> I'll show you one that I kind of messed up, for my opinion, I guess. So I'm going to just fill it up to there. Of course, it looks like I didn't fill it up that side. And if you want, you can always do like little corners here. Maybe I'll do a little bit here. But I'm just going to use this toothpick. I'm just going to clean it out a little bit. Like so I don't have so much on there. I'm just going to do a little bit of that corner here just a little bit you only need a little bit now if it gets on the area you can always use the other side or another toothpick to clean clean the areas off that's usually what I do um, you don't necessarily have to um, just trying to get this as close as possible so you guys can see what is my process I'm going to just fill in over here as well. I'm trying to just do like the outer layers. Okay, that's pretty good. I like to daub it after a while. That's, that's really nice. It's coming out really nice, guys. Like I said, if you didn't like it on a certain area, you can always remove it before it gets cured. That's usually my my problem there whoopsie and sometimes if you don't have it right you might get a little bit on you if you have a plastic baggie that's the best thing for it I'm just gonna let that overflow there because it kind of looks nice I'll leave it on the Teflon mat got to be careful with that 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 always happens so remember to wash your hands really good afterwards hey mistakes happen <laughs> we're not perfect here Okay, I think that's pretty good how it is. I'm going to do the next one for you guys. This one's a little toughy too. Sometimes I just go like this so it can just go all over too. If that's easier for you. I know it takes a little bit more time. But it just, it fills it out. Like if I do like that and I just kept doing that all, <laughs> the whole time. But it kind of takes too long. Especially when you're trying to do a video. Okay, I'm, I'm, that's probably enough resin. So I'm just going to try to fill in everything here. And try to drag it to the corners. This is like watching paint dry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you how to do it. So you guys can do it. I'm just going to lay, you remember to lay it you know, as straight as possible, because if you start tilting it, everything will start moving. I mean, if you wanted to, it, it would be easier for you, go ahead. But then everything starts moving, and you're like, what, well, didn't I just fill that corner up? Oh, well. See, this is pretty much pr perfect amount of resin. I didn't need any more. You just need a little bit, not, not a lot. I'm just going to fill in that corner there, because that would look really cute. Sorry if I'm out of frame, guys. I'm trying to get my myself centered here. It's kind of hard to see after a while when you're doing a video. Okay, I think that looks great. Now, if you always want to do the flowers, go ahead. But, you know, for my design, I'm just going to just fill it in a little bit and in the corners 
and make it look pretty like that. Okay, so I'm done with this UV re with this resin stuff. So I'm gonna if you have other stuff, if you have like a lot of charms all at once, this is great for that. That's pretty much what I did there. So I'm gonna get you can always we have this on the website. We have um, uh, UV lights on the website. We have a flashlight. If you don't know if you can tackle this project, you can always do a flashlight really quickly. But we do have a UV light on the website. I think it's only $15 on the website. It's a pretty good price, especially if you have a coupon. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just put this in the UV light. And it has a big UV light over here. So I'm going to just fill this in. Put this in here. Make sure it's flat as possible. Of course, you can use, use the sun because that's what it's for. So I'm going to just try to put that in there here. And I'm going to put it for... 60 seconds it, it might need more time to cure too because the darker it is on the perfect pearls the longer it takes to cure so if you have just a little bit of like a little bit of light like if it's a really light you want it really light red or really light purple go ahead it will cure faster <laughs> but when it's deep deep red like this it's going to take a while, just like this. Yeah. This took me at least, I'm going to say 20 to 30 minutes. So it it can um, finish curing because of the deep, the deep um, red color. So I'm going to just measure this for you guys while I'm here. Oh, so I'm going to keep this on for like five minutes and it probably will cure it. So I'm gonna measure this for you guys while I'm here. I made this to, I'm gonna say an eight inch to an eight and a half bracelet right there. And that's how long I made it. And I did use a, I think it's a figure out chain. And I use white pearls. And of course these are brass ox charms from the website. And we have a lot of charms. We have a lot in many colors, like silver, gold. We got brass socks. There's a lot. You guys just have to look on the website. <laughs> just type in hearts, and you'll find all these hearts. So I'm going to let that cure. Okay, so they're done curing. So I have them right here on the top. And they're pretty... They're pretty, they're pretty much done. It just takes like about five to six minutes on your UV light. So I'm just gonna put that back in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna connect the rest of the charms and then I'll show you the finished piece here. Um, I think I had this one over here and this one here and here. Okay, and you can tell if they're sticky still, then they need a little bit more time curing. But these are not sticky, so we're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna have my little four millimeter jump rings here that I attached. And just put this little dude in here. That one's done. And then you get this guy in here. Oops make it a little bit bigger there we go just gotta make sure it's going the right way and close it as flush as possible okay let's see one more and then we're ready to go and of course you can make this into a necklace as well I'm going to show you that in a second if I can get these charms to lay flat. They didn't lay exactly flat. And sometimes they run over a little bit. I wouldn't worry about it because this part ran over a little bit. I wasn't too concerned. And if you are, um, you could always clean it out before it's cured. But sometimes, like, like the one I just did kind of ran over to the bow side just a, a little bit 
I did kind of take it out with a toothpick as much as possible. And then I put it under the UV light to cure a little bit more. So sometimes they don't turn out perfect. It's okay. But that is my finished piece here. It's lovely, guys. I can get it on camera. <laughs> Nothing's perfect, I guess. Okay, so we got this. Little pearls. Okay, so then now I have a little piece here to make into a necklace, of course. I just put a clasp and I have the same chain for it and then I put a little extension here so all I did was connect that but I'll give you the measurements for that probably need that to make it so the chain is about about seven seven and a little bit over yeah seven somewhere around seven inches and the whole thing all together is nine about nine inches so in total we make this into a bracelet I mean a necklace so that'd be 17 inches altogether to a necklace you can make it short you can make it long but I think the shorter it is it's m much more it's more appealing so I'm just gonna connect these and show you how it looks guys whoopsie and then just connect the other side. And that is your complete necklace there. So you have a charm, bracelet, and slash necklace. There you go. Of course I didn't probably didn't do that right, so and that's what it would look like, guys. So that's all. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>